Hello there. In this video, we're going to take a look at a plugin called Skewdat, and it can skew absolutely everything in Figma. So let's go. I'm just going to dive straight in and I've gone to the Figma community page. So as you can see here, they've labeled it as it's stupid simple and you absolutely need this. Give it a go with a seven day free trial. So in summary, this plugin can skew anything and everything. So just to give you an overview of the plugin features, it's got a live preview, it's got a minimal interface, and you can skew multiple objects at once. So let's dive into Figma and have a play. Okay, so here we are in Figma. I've got a couple of my old designs here. I've duplicated one down here. Let's put these close together. Let's select both of these frames. Let's go into Actions, go to Plugins, and select SkewDat. Okay, so the plugin, as you can see, is super minimal. It gives you a horizontal and vertical axis that you can skew. So if I start with the horizontal, as you can see, you can start to skew that and move both of these designs around. So let's say I want to skew them to the left, you can, or you can go to the right, nice and easy. You can just drag this left and right. I'm going to skew them like this, so let's go to 16. Let's do the vertical skew now, so you can go up to make it look like that, or down to make it do this. Put it to about there and then i'm going to click on apply and that's it done okay i just wanted to try skewing a shape as well let's just put a couple of different shapes down let's do an ellipse and a square so let's fire up the plugin i'll select both of those let's just see if we can do shapes and yes you can that's really useful so you can do frames shapes pretty much everything so that's cool Okay, so something else I quite like about this plugin is I've gone ahead and I've already skewed these frames. So as you can see, the frame is skewed, it's at an angle. But what you can still do is go into your layers panel, select say some of the text, and you can still make changes while the design is skewed. So what I like about this is if you spent time making a collage of designs and they're all skewed in a certain angle, and actually you notice that you've made a mistake to one of the designs, you can still go in and adjust things and correct them so they've not been rendered out as PNGs or JPEGs. They're still active frames that you can still go into the layers and make the changes. So I imagine this would be useful. You see it a lot on Behance and Dribble, where people make these tile-like patterns of their UI. So that could come in quite useful if you're presenting something in a portfolio piece. So you could skew all the designs together in a really cool pattern. I quite like this plugin. I just like the simplicity of it. There's not a lot to it. It's very, very basic, but very, very effective. And who knows, maybe this will come in useful in one of your next projects. Okay, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, add some comments, check out some other videos on my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Really need to improve this, this background. Doesn't look very good. There's a picture, which is nice, but this, no.